स्टेट एंड प्रूव ला ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन केस ऑफ फ्रीली फॉलिंग बॉडी दिस क्वेश्चन कैर इज एट मार्क्स दैट मीन्स दिस क्वेश्चन प्लस प्रॉब्लम कैर इज एट मार्क्स फर्स्ट वे टू राइट द डेफिनेशन Energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be converted from one form of energy to another, but total energy remains constant. This is general explanation. Let us consider a body of mass m e is freely falling through a height h above the ground. Let us assume this is a body of mass m. which is freely falling from a certain height from the ground now i had to examine at this point that means initial point a mid point b final point c we had to find the total energy total energy means potential energy plus kinetic energy value at these three points okay here the distance between a and b is assumed as x and b and c is assumed as h minus x now we have to find the total energy at point a at point a first we have to find that is the potential energy pe is equal to m g h we know the potential energy of the body the mass of the body is m the gravitational force is g already the body at height h so the potential energy will be at height at h that means m g h the kinetic energy will be half m v square now if you examine here m is there m is present there but uh, at the maximum height the velocity is zero so i have to put v is equal to zero here then the kinetic energy will be ke is equal to half m zero square then we get ke is equal to zero now we have to find the total energy total have to find the total energy e at a is equal to pe plus ke the potential energy plus kinetic energy then we know the potential energy is mgh at point a i have to write mgh plus the kinetic energy is zero then the resultant will be ea is equal to mgh this is first result now we have to find the total energy at point b at uh, point b first uh, we have to find potential energy that is m g the height of the object fr from ground to b is h minus x so the height will be h minus x we have to write so pe is equal to mgh minus mgx mgh minus mgx so this is equation number 1 now i have to find the kinetic energy of the body at point b that is half m v square now find v square for that we have to use the kinematic equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as from this equation we have to substitute the 
initial velocity u is equal to 0 a is equal to plus g because the body is freely falling then s is equal to x because the gap between a and b is x that means the body traveled from a to b the, dis the, the displacement is x so we have to substitute these values in this equation so v square minus 0 square is equal to 2gx so v square is equal to 2gx now put this 2gx value here that means at v square then otherwise this will be equation 2 this will be equation 3 put equation 3 in equation 2 we get ke is equal to half m 2g x 2 2 gets cancelled ke is equal to mg x okay now we have to put this ke value and equation 1 that means this is equation number 4 so we have to add equation 1 and 4 that means the total energy at b is equal to pe plus ke we know pe means mg h minus mg x plus ke means mgx mgx this mgx and mgx gets cancelled then we get mg h eb so the total energy of the object at point b is mg h now we have to find the total energy at point c at c means c means that body already reaches to ground so we have to write at point c now find the potential energy the formula of potential energy is mgh but uh, this object is on ground so the height of the object is zero so pe is equal to mg zero therefore pe is equal to zero pe is equal to zero now i have to find ke ke is equal to half m v square we have to find v square for that again we have to use v square minus u square is equal to 2a yes now replace this or change these variables that means put u is equal to 0 there is no need of any initial velocity a is equal to plus g that means for freely falling body s is equal to h then this equation becomes v square minus 0 square is equal to 2g h so v square is equal to 2g h now put this v square value in this kinetic equation suppose this is equation number 5 this is equation number 6 we have to put equation 6 in equation 5 we get ke is equal to half m v square means 2gh this is 2gh again 2 and 2 gets cancelled ke is equal to mg h now finally we have to find the total energy at point c that is pe plus k 
PE plus KE means here at point C, at point C the PE is 0. Now put PE value 0 plus KE means MGH. The total energy at point C is MGH. In this particular instant at point C, this kinetic energy is converted into potential energy. Okay, so because the potential energy is zero, so the kinetic energy is balanced this equation. Okay, by seeing this these equations, it is obvious that the total energy at A is equal to the total energy at B is equal to the total energy at C. Hence, uh, this equation was proved. So, the, it was proved for freely falling body expression was proved. Thank you.